Hey folks, I thought I'd offer some thoughts, opinions on this uh, Washburn N4 uh, Vintage. Uh, first thing I want to say is incredibly fun to play. Um, if you're a Nuno fan like myself, there's just something really, really cool about playing uh, a Washburn N4 like this. Particularly one that's been aged, so it's a little kind of beat up, just a little bit like uh, Nuno's kind of original and various other ones that he's had. Uh, it's not an exact copy, I mean there's things that are a little bit different. Um, 
with Stephen Davies, the original uh, Luther that was involved building the kind of original uh, line of then four. Uh, there's a couple little bit of differences. There's you know some controversy about this pickup. This is an L five hundred pickup, Bill Lawrence, and some people. Um, uh, the, the one that's in Nuno's original is one that he made before he left the company and so forth. But in saying that, it still sounds awesome. The guitar has a real, a real anger kind of bite to it, particularly with this pickup. <laughs> You know, that's what you can see, it just gives it that kind of ballsy, hard edge kind of rock tone, which is really, really fun. Um, the neck is really, really comfortable. It's not um, uh, like too thin. It's got a nice kind of rounded kind of feel to it. This one uh, probably won't be, you know, catch up there. You know, it's it's, it's kind of aged and it's a little bit of bird's eye maple on there. And then of course you've got Stephen's extended cutaway thing here. Uh, really unique to over to Stephen Davis's uh, kind of guitars but it's really really comfortable for access wise you can really get all the way up there no bother at all you know um the only thing i mean obviously it's a signature guitar so it's really kind of to no, no specs you know the body's quite small um and therefore it feels a little bit kind of neck heavy just a little bit I mean, when Nuno's playing, he's got it slung ridiculously low and he's, he's kind of holding it up here and all this sort of stuff. Personally, I find that a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, I'm not Nuno Bettencourt. Uh, one volume, you know, that kind of Van Halen nod, I guess, but uh, it's a little bit limiting, particularly um, with the rollback in this where it loses a whole load of top end. I think uh, Paul, the owner of this guitar, had mentioned that uh, he was trying to fix that. Uh, he wasn't sure if he got it right, so I'm not sure if that's what it's like in the original or not. Maybe some N4 owners out there can uh, post a comment, let us know. But in a sense, even though you don't get that kind of rollback controlling the gain, it does control the top end, so if you think that extra, that bites a bit much, you can just round it off a little bit, you know, so it's... It just depends, it's whatever you, you're you kind of looking for. But it is a bit of a limitation. The other thing, of course, with the selector switch here, there's quite a lot of guitars that have the selector switch there. Personally, for me, uh, you know, Nuno moved it from here because he said he was always hitting it when he's, you know, he, he's got an awesome rhythmical right hand. I find if I was doing funky stuff, I tend to play here, so I would kind of hit it every now and again. You know, it's just one of these little quirks of a signature guitar. Uh, reverse headstock looks awesome, of course. Um, uh, ebony fingerboard, really, really nice. So there's lots of really nice touches with it. It's, it's got a rock solid uh, Floyd on here, though. As you, you know, I've got the bar off at the moment and for most of the video because that's kind of the way that Nuno uh, kind of plays these days. He doesn't really use the, the whammy bar that much. So it's um, it's a pretty uh, awesome uh, kind of guitar, really distinctive. You don't see too many of them about, uh, and uh, I'm not sure what the going rate. I'll once I get the video done, I'll put the, the kind of the going rate for uh, one of these on eBay or whatever in the video spec. Um, but they're you know they're hard to get and they're not cheap basically. So hopefully this video is giving you a little bit of um, a taste for what they're like, uh, what they're capable of sound wise. As I said. <laughs> Pinch harmonics and all that kind of bite, punchy kind of tone that Nuno's uh, renowned for. Uh, this guitar delivers, you know. Uh, but hopefully the video's been helpful. And as usual, um, if you want to keep up to date with uh, other stuff, uh, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out Master of the Guitar on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And one last thing I'll say is a huge thanks to uh, my mate Paul for the loan of this. A really long loan, actually. It's taken me a long time to get <laughs> these videos done. Uh, so a big, huge thank you to him for that. Um, and I'm looking uh, after it really well. Okay. So until next time. Have fun.